We won't live long enough to find them. Forgive me. Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're counting down our picks for the comic book characters that we feel deserve their fair shot in the gaming sphere. You people should be thanking Christ that I am who and what I am because you need me. You need me to save you. We will be including anti-heroes, while also staying away from Cape Crusaders that have already featured heavily in games prior. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Blue Beetle Blue Beetle at your service! Jaime Reyes seems to finally be getting the spotlight he deserves, what with him entering James Gunn's DC universe, while also being a major supporting character in numerous animated projects. Sure, he was pretty slick in Injustice 2, but how about letting him headline his own game? Let us take control of the Scarab and go absolutely wild with out of this world weaponry. Take the prototype slash infamous formula, work in some slick traversal, and you've got the makings of a good old time. Oh, and uh, keep the Buster Sword. Invincible. Yes, we know, Invincible Guarding the Globe exists, but how about giving one of the hottest heroes on the block a legitimate video game? Robert Kirkman's grounded take on the superhero genre remains beloved to this day, due to the flawed nature of its heroes, the grit of the world they inhabit, and a whole heaping helping of brutal violence. This could be the Superman game everyone has been dying to play, only with a lot more guts and gore. Let us fly around the globe, punch out alien threats of every size, and test our metal against an Omni-Man boss fight. Please. Red X. Who are you? If I wanted you to know that, would I be wearing a mask? Look, Red Hood had his time to shine in Gotham Knights, so why not let an adjacent version have a go in the gaming scene? Made famous in the beloved Teen Titans cartoon before making his comic debut in Teen Titans Academy, Red X is a thief with nearly every gadget imaginable at his disposal, and twice the amount of puns. He's also got something of a moral compass that he adheres to when the chips are down. Sounds like the making of a killer protagonist for his own game. One that could combine stealth, combat, heists, maybe even a morality system, all immersed amongst the heroes and villains of the DC Universe. Make it happen, people. You don't think I plan on making this easy for you? Agent Venom. Helping you out, Spider-Man. Insomniac Spider-Man 2 teased this version of the Webhead's greatest foe, but now it's time for the real thing. Whether it's Flash Thompson in control of the symbiote or another stand-in, let us gear up and take on the missions too shady for Spidey to handle. Given that he's a soldier first, playing as Agent Venom could allow for a blend of hard-hitting web action as well as gunplay. Less Call of Duty, more Devil May Cry. It would certainly allow him to stand out from Spider-Man's shadow, not to mention serve as a great excuse for some creative biomes as he tackles high-risk missions across the globe. Or, if you want to remove Venom from the equation but still give us a symbiote on the side of good, Toxin is always an option. Beta Ray Bill The two natives smashed our warbot like it was glass. Maybe one day we'll get the Thor game of our dreams, but by this point, the God of Thunder has featured in a crazy amount of titles. Time to pass the hammer on to someone else, and who better than his fellow lightning-wielding, Shakespearean-speaking brother-in-arms. You, I hold no guilt 
it's about killing. You could easily have Beta Ray Bill wielding Stormbreaker and raining hell down on Asgard's enemies in some fantasy God of War inspired combat. Maybe pair it up with him living on Earth in disguise, struggling to adapt to human culture. Give the Corbinite a chance to prove himself worthy. Savage Dragon. Now here is a deep cut. One of Image's longest running heroes is more than deserving of his own game, if only for having such a simple yet engaging premise. A giant dragon humanoid with super strength and durability works for the police department and solves crimes. You could do so much with that. Lean into the detective aspect just as much as the explosive action. Sure, the idea of having someone akin to the Hulk going full L.A. Noir might sound ridiculous, but that's sort of the beauty of it. The man's been around long enough to at least deserve a shot at gaming credibility. The boys. There's been no better commentary, satire and deconstruction of all things superhero in recent memory than the boys. Average Joes using whatever means necessary to take down godlike beings who have become poisoned by their own celebrity status. It's dripping with gaming potential. And while we all cry ourselves to sleep every night knowing Kojima will likely never get around to making his version of such a project, it would be nice to see someone take a crack at it. The possibilities are shockingly vast. The gameplay loop of locating and analysing a soup's weakness, the tension of confronting them with nothing but wits and weaponry, and the satisfaction of taking them down. Just please don't make Hero Gasm a story mission. Nightcrawler. We're not here to hurt you. We just want to talk. Here's your house. We all know that another X-Men game will be coming around before this console generation is done, but who knows which members of the team will make the cut? If there's one among the roster we'd like to see have a chance to strut his stuff solo, it would be the devilishly dapper gentleman with a knack for teleporting. The combat potential for Nightcrawler, especially if you pair him with his iconic swords, would be incredible. If you want to take it one step further, he is technically wearing the mantle of Spider-Man these days, so do with that what you will. My God. The Sandman. And enter my realm. For I am the king of dreams. The depths of Neil Gaiman's imagination is seemingly bottomless, as evident with his iconic creation. As a member of the Endless, Morpheus is a deity in all but name, one who wanders through and commands the power of dreams as his domain. How do you adapt such a concept into a game? Make it trippy as can be, fully embrace the weirdness and wonder of Gaiman's world, and chalk up one hell of a story that sees the titular Sandman encounter the craziest and most powerful icons DC has to offer. If Telltale were back in their prime, we'd say this would be a perfect matchup. I am a universe. All things encompassing. All life embracing. The Valiant Universe. Talk about untapped potential. Neither Marvel nor DC, yet filled to the brim with heroes of every ilk, the Valiant Universe's roster would make for a monumental foundation when it comes to action and narrative focused games. Sure, Turok and Shadow Man may have been major misfires back in their day, but those were just the tip of the iceberg. Exo Manowar is what happens when you put a Roman slave inside of the galaxy's strongest armor. Ninjak is a super spy combined with a ninja aesthetic. Peter Sanchek is an ex-addict who just so happens to be a psychic with world-ending potential. Whereas Zephyr's unabashed positivity as the fangirl turned superhero speaks to the nerd in all of us. And that's just scratching the surface. Which of these masked marauders do you think needs to enter the gaming scene? Let us know in the comments. I think it looks much cooler on me. 
check out these other great clips from Mojo Plays. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.